Welcome back to Ultra Defense. In today's video, we'll be comparing two prominent fighter jets, the JF-17 Thunder Block III and the Sukhoi Su-30. This comparison is crucial as it pits a lightweight, cost-effective multi-role fighter against a more established, heavyweight aircraft, both serving key roles in their respective air forces. We'll cover their design, performance, avionics, armament, and more to give you a comprehensive understanding of these jets' capabilities and how they stack up against each other. Historical background. The JF-17 Thunder, jointly developed by China and Pakistan, began its journey in the early 2000s. The first prototype flew in 2003, with the Pakistan Air Force, PAF, inducting the initial squadron in 2010. The latest Block III variant, which made its maiden flight in 2019, incorporates significant technological advancements. The Suhoi Su-30, on the other hand, is a product of Russia's renowned Suhoi Design Bureau. Development started in the late 1980s, with the first flight taking place in 1989. The Su-30 has seen various upgrades over the years, making it a versatile and formidable aircraft for the Russian Air Force and other operators worldwide. Cockpit and Avionics The JF-17 Block III boasts an advanced cockpit with a wide-angle holographic head-up display, HUD, and an integrated cockpit display, enhancing situational awareness. The digital glass cockpit is designed to reduce pilot workload and increase efficiency during missions. The aircraft is equipped with the KLJ-7A Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar, which offers improved target detection and tracking capabilities. The radar can simultaneously track multiple targets and guide air-to-air -air missiles. In addition to the HUD and AESA radar, the JF-17 Block III includes a helmet-mounted display system, HMDS, allowing pilots to engage targets by simply looking at them. This system greatly enhances the pilot's situational awareness and reaction times in combat scenarios. The avionics suite also features advanced electronic warfare e, systems for improved survivability against enemy threats. In contrast, the Su-30's cockpit is equipped with multifunctional displays, MFDs, and a robust avionics suite. Its N011M BARS radar offers excellent range in multi-target tracking, with the ability to detect and engage both aerial and ground targets. The Su-30's cockpit ergonomics and advanced flight controls ensure pilot comfort and effectiveness in various combat scenarios. The aircraft is also equipped with a helmet-mounted sight, HMS, and an infrared search and track, IRST, system providing passive target acquisition capabilities and enhancing situational awareness without emitting detectable signals. Moreover, the Su-30's avionics suite includes sophisticated electronic countermeasures ECM, to jam enemy radar and communication systems, improving survivability in contested environments. The integrated navigation and attack systems allow the Su-30 to perform complex missions with precision, whether it's air superiority, ground attack, or maritime strike roles. Both jets have provisions for nuclear weapon delivery, although this role is more prominently associated with the Su-30 due to its larger payload capacity and integration into strategic operations within Russian military doctrine. The JF-17 Block III, while capable of delivering nuclear payloads, with the integration of nuclear-capable cruise missiles such as ROD-1 and ROD-2 air-launched cruise missiles, is more focused on tactical and regional deterrence as part of Pakistan's defense strategy. Engine and Performance the JF-17 Thunder Block III is powered by an RD-93 engine, providing a thrust of 84.4 kN. It can reach speeds up, up to Mach 2, with a service ceiling of 16,900 meters and a combat range of approximately 1,350 km. The Su-30, powered by two Alabama 31F engines, delivers a combined thrust of 245 kN. It can achieve speeds up to Mach 2.0, a service ceiling of 17,300 meters and a maximum range of 3,000 kilometers. The Su-30's superior thrust-to-weight ratio contributes to its exceptional maneuverability. Weapons and Armament The JF-17 Block III is equipped with a diverse array of weapons, including the PLACE-15, PLACE-12, PL-10, and PL-9C missiles, and the capability to carry air-to-surface munitions like the ROD Mk-2. The PLACE-15 is a long-range air-to-air missile with advanced radar guidance capabilities, while the PLACE-9C is a short-range infrared-guided missile. Additionally, the JF-17 can deploy a variety of bombs and precision-guided munitions, PGMs, 
such as the H-2, H-4 glide bombs and the MAR-1 anti-radiation missile. The JF-17 Thunder can perform anti-ship roles with the help of the C-802 AKM. 100 AKG anti-ship missile export variant of Chinese missiles. The aircraft features seven hardpoints, including both internal and external weapon stations, designed for versatility and stealth. The JF-17 Block 3 also has the capability to deliver nuclear weapons, with modifications allowing for the carriage of small-yield tactical nuclear bombs. This enhances its strategic deterrence role, particularly in the South Asian context. Its weapon delivery systems include advanced targeting pods and laser designation systems, ensuring high accuracy on strike missions. The Su-30 is armed with a wide range of missiles, including the R-77 and R-73 for air-to-air -air combat, as well as the KH-29 and KH-31 for air-to-ground missions. The R-77 is a Beyond Visual Range BVR, missile with active radar homing, while the R-73 is a highly agile short-range missile with infrared homing. The Su-30 also carries a 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon for close-in engagements. Its numerous hardpoints allow for a substantial payload, making it highly effective in both air superiority and ground attack roles. The Su-30's armament extends to anti-ship missiles like the KH-35 and KH-59, providing maritime strike capabilities. It also features an array of precision-guided munitions, including laser-guided bombs, KB-500L, and satellite-guided bombs, KB-500SE. For nuclear roles, the Su-30 can carry tactical nuclear weapons, fitting into Russia's strategic and tactical nuclear doctrines. In terms of weapon delivery systems, the Su-30 is equipped with advanced fire control systems and targeting pods, such as the Lightning Pod, enhancing its precision strike capabilities. The combination of its diverse weapon loadout and sophisticated delivery systems makes the Su-30 a formidable multi-role fighter. Design and Build The JF-17 Thunder Block 3 features an airframe built with lightweight composites and aluminum alloys, enhancing its agility. It has a length of 14.93 meters, a wingspan of 9.48 meters, and an empty weight of 6.6 .6 tons. Distinguishing features include its single-engine design and modern avionics suite derived from the J-20. The Su-30 is significantly larger, with a length of 21.9 meters, a wingspan of 14.7 meters, and an empty weight of 17.7 tons. Built with a mix of titanium and high-strength aluminum alloys, the Su-30's design emphasizes durability and high payload capacity. It features twin engines and a tandem cockpit for its two-man crew, stealth and defense systems. The JF-17 incorporates stealth features such as reduced radar cross-section and advanced electronic countermeasures ECM. Its design minimizes detection, enhancing survivability in hostile environments. The Su-30, while not as stealthy as newer aircraft, compensates with advanced ECM, chaff, and flare dispensers. Its robust defensive suite provides excellent situational awareness and threat evasion capabilities. Eight. Operational roles and capabilities, the JF-17 is primarily designed for air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. Its multi-role capabilities make it a versatile asset for the PAF, particularly in light of its cost-effectiveness and advanced avionics. The Su-30 excels in air superiority and ground attack roles, with additional capabilities for electronic warfare and maritime strike missions. Its adaptability and range make it a cornerstone of the Russian Air Force's operational strategy. Comparison metrics When comparing speed, range, and payload capacity, the Su-30 clearly outperforms the JF-17 with its greater speed and range. The JF-17's lighter weight and advanced avionics offer advantages in terms of agility and situational awareness. In various operational scenarios, the Su-30's superior endurance and payload capacity give it an edge though the JF-17's modern electronics and lower operational costs present a compelling case for budget-conscious operators. Conclusion and Viewer Interaction In summary, the JF-17 Thunder Block 3 and the Suhoi Su-30 are both formidable aircraft, each with unique strengths. The JF-17 offers advanced technology and cost efficiency, while the Su-30 provides unmatched range, payload, and versatility. Both jets serve critical roles in their respective air forces and have proven their effectiveness in various operations. What are your thoughts on these two jets?
Do you think the Su-30's raw power outweighs the JF-17's modern systems and affordability? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Ultra Defense for more in-depth comparisons and military content.